after 2001, we all agree that big changes happen in this world. Okay? Ideological changes, uh, political changes, so on and so forth. So there was a point, uh, especially in the George Bush era, by the end of the George Bush era, where there was a big crash on Dawa. You know, they were using hammers to break anything related to Islam, anything remotely related to Islam. So you, you experienced this firsthand? Yeah, yeah, of course we saw this. Of course. You know, there was a time where you had to be very careful what you're going to say in on your minbar or in your lectures. It's nothing like, you know, today we are talking about things like, uh, you know, we have, we have many channels on the internet and even non-Muslims, by the way. I saw last time, it's tons of them. Here in Canada now, there's like a whole movement of even women, subhanAllah, writing and, and, and they're against feminism and uh, some of them, they're questioning democracy and everything look if if any da'ya in the west said the same thing like 15 years ago i'm telling you he would be all over the news mm. like an enemy of the west enemy of civilization uh related to i don't know which organization you know what i'm talking about somewhere in in asia or something right and they will destroy his life they will destroy his life so there was no freedom it was quite the opposite actually uh, so we were silenced. Uh, not everybody was silenced. Obviously, many du'at, they did their best to still convey Islam as it is, uh, not necessarily in the most open and direct way, but you know, using hikmah, trying to do your best to go through that. But then you notice a change. Just with the beginning of the Obama administration, something strange started happening in, in the US, for example. Many of these du'at and mashayikh and everything who were just crushed like everybody else just suddenly start becoming, having a lot of freedom, left, right, and center, right? They were able to move and to organize stuff and to grow and to give lectures <clears throat> and to be even sometimes promoted by the, by the Western mainstream media, subhanAllah. And then at the same time, you noticed how they start changing their approach, their, their speech, even their ideas, their ideologies and everything. I'm telling you, oh, I'm just trying to uh, to adapt, you know, the da'wah to the modern days and to be more realistic and so on and so forth. <laughs> There's big questions to be asked there. But then you saw how, with the again, with the coming of social media and so on and so forth, many of these big names, right? They were promoted also by social media, the algorithm, like it or not. Today, if you some people did the experience and you can do it. Today, if you just open like a clean, you know, I studied in cyber security, right? If you just open like a take a <clears throat> take a like a clean device, no history, nothing, go to a coffee shop and uh, connect through a VPN, whatever, go on YouTube and act like someone who doesn't know anything about Islam. You just want to discover Islam, start doing some basic search words keywords and youtube will tell you which sheikhs you should listen to right <laughs> so you have your umar sulaiman and your yasser qadi and it's always the same people meaning someone is really pleased with these guys message someone is really happy uh you know like i was telling sometime last time some of the youth forget the political aspect of it do what do social media want what do they want exactly they want profit Mm -hmm. They want people to stay there as long as possible. They want, as we call it today, in the progressive language, which is very important to notice because I see some du'at making this, they want a positive message. Okay, what do we mean by positive message? Positive is something that people, they like, something that will make you happy. So criticizing you, telling you about Jahannam, uh, telling you about you know the the evils of ourselves, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say, min anfusina." No, the social media does not like that because mm -hmm. a lot of viewers will not like that in the beginning. They will say, "Oh, it's the truth." Yeah, it's true what he's saying, but truth is bitter, so I don't want to listen to it today. I'm not ready for this yet. Let me enjoy my life. Let's let's move to some music video or some football video or something. I don't want to hear this right now. I'm not ready for it. Okay, but I know what he's saying is. Well, YouTube and other social media do not want that to happen. So they want people who will be talking to you about how so universal Islam is. It's so universal that it can make everybody happy. 
I can every, make everybody, what matters is smile to your brother, be kind. All of these umumiyat here, like, you know, when George Bush used to say, they hate us for our freedom. Mm. What's the word freedom? What, what is freedom? Everybody promotes freedom. Everybody around the world, even the dictators, they say, I'm doing this for your freedom, right? So words like freedom, good, justice, if you don't go into the details and you don't explain the procedures, the rulings that come with them, they really don't mean much, right? Uh, Fir'aun used to say what? I'm, I'm, I'm worried for your culture. People of Banu Israel, he had his own narrative. He didn't say, I'm Fir'aun, I'm an evil guy, so that's why I don't like Banu Israel. No, no, no. Say, so he's trying to, you know, make propaganda in the society so that they agree with him and say, go ahead, Fir'aun, what you're doing is good. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you look at the historical context and then the social media uh, system around it, there is a reason why these guys, they're popular, why they have a lot of funds, why they have a lot of money. Uh, some people say, oh, they did a lot of work. They did a lot of great work. Okay. Um, Umar Suleiman, right? I'm saying names, I'm not going to hide the names, I already made videos about them, we try to give them nasiha as much as possible, if they don't want to take the nasiha, if they are still continuing in the same way, well too bad for them, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling bad for them, whatever, may Allah Ta'ala guide us and guide them, but for now, as long as they are what they are, really I don't care, the haq is the haq, that's what matters, everyone, everyone is equal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except by taqwa, why do you want me to give special treatment to Umar Suleiman or Yasser Qadi, why, why do you want me, 